Let us get into uh, a story. Rob G, share with us what's going on in Denver. I mean, we know Nathaniel uh, can't hack it, as Rob calls him. Great nickname, Rob. I'm going to give you all the credit on that. Thank you. Um, Thank you. He's he's obviously not doing a good job. They're three and seven. Um, but Rob, you tell us what's going defense. on. There. He's very much under fire. Yeah. So for a long time, this Nathaniel Hackett, Russell Wilson thing has been kind of a punching bag here in the national media. You know, we've it's been ad nauseum now for about a month, month and a half now. Denver is a great sports town, but they're not as you know fickle as some of the national media is, national pundits. Well, that changed in a big way following (laughs) Sunday's loss to my beloved Las Vegas Raiders, where now multiple columnists— Is this true? The Raiders are 0-7 against the rest of the NFL and 2-0 against Denver? No, we have three wins. One of them was against Houston. Oh, 1-7 against the rest of the NFL, 2-0 against Denver. Yes. So uh, a game that they had won— up three, under two minutes remaining. The Raiders got no timeouts left, and they inexplicably call a pass play, and Russell Wilson throws an incomplete pass, saves the Raiders about 40 seconds. Terrible coaching. They, Terrible. They kick the field it goal is. to force overtime. They win it in overtime on a touchdown pass. But multiple columnists now in Denver, including Mike Kisler, who's one of the, you know, the names to know in the Denver media yes. scene. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we know him. Came out and said, this is a direct quote, the Broncos – Need to end the madness. Fire Nathaniel Hackett. Make defensive coordinator. I don't. I don't know his name. Evro, the head coach. The Broncos are on the road to nowhere, and Coach Nathaniel Hackett is a slacker, riding shotgun. Wow. Please slacker. remind me what exactly does Hackett do around here, and why is he still here? Wow, uh, the gauntlet has been uh, dropped there, and you know what? I agree with him. And, Chris, you know they, the ownership did not hire Nathaniel right. Can't Hack It. Right. And if I'm new ownership and I'm watching what's going on and I say to myself, what do you mean our defense is giving up 17 points a game? That's winning football, 17 points a game. Right. We can't score 20? We can't get tw- – we're not, not 40, Chris, not 38 a game, not 35 a game – we can't score 21 points or 20? Dude, there's an issue. And the whole thing has been a disaster, Chris, since week one. You remember you had to hire somebody for, to help him manage time, uh, a coach, at, when week two. We talked yep. about it from the very beginning. Sometimes things just aren't the right match or a guy's not ready to, to assume the responsibility. Yeah, that too. That too. <laughs> Rob, and when I heard this today, I almost fell out of my chair, but it, it, it's easy to, to see. But Nick Wright said today on first things first, if the Broncos, Rob, scored 20 points a game this year, 20, which would still keep them in the bottom 10 in the league in points per game, guess what their record would be? Go ahead. Nine and one. No, that's ridiculous. <laughs> no, that's ridiculous. Think about that. I look. I no, but Chris, I knew, you knew Nathaniel Hackett was getting fired after this season, barring right. some miraculous turnaround. But I hear you. I mean, this is what this was game what ten, and you still had those type of clock management errors, right? The first couple games, we we're like, okay, give him time. But Chris, you can't do week that. Eleven, right. right? What are you and, doing and you throwing still, the football in that situation? Because Rob, here's the deal. And it was unlikely, but if they had won that game, they're four and six. You're still alive, not just mathematically, but you're actually like four and six. We've won two of our last three, right? You feel like you might have something going. Turn the corner, maybe. Yep, you got the Panthers coming up. That's a winnable game. So that, Rob G just described, you know, the way it went at the end of the game. Um, It's it's a fireable offense. And look, like you said, you know he's not going to be there next year. God forbid you turned it around right, you know, you win like four of your last few games. You you almost don't "Ah." want to, right, 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 right. 
Like this is where you want to get him out so that he can't yep. rebound, and then you have right. to keep him. But right. but uh, you know the other thing is you talked about if they just average eighteen points a game, that would be the fifth worst offense in the NFL, and they still would be nine and one like that. That's like, what that's I'm how, saying. Yeah, that's how 20, bad it would be. It would be twenty a game. The, the Chargers beat them nineteen zero. If they just averaged uh, eighteen points, Rob, right? They'd be eight and two. Wow. 18 or 18 points in regulation. Yeah, if it was 18 so points in regulation. That would be 9 they'd and be 1. They'd be 9 and 1. Think about that. And and look, and and I like Russell Wilson. He's not exempt from criticism. But but he was supposed he to be the magical elixir, Chris. Absolutely. He was, they were like, we got the, well, how what, what have we heard about Denver for the last 10 years? Oh, need only a if we get a quarterback. If we could get yep. a quarterback to go with the defense, we got a Super Bowl. Like that's yep. okay. They find, uh, look, what do you want? We'll give you everything we we have for Russell Wilson. We got our quarterback. He won a Super Bowl. He went to back to back Super Bowls. <laughs> Excuse me. Here it is. We got the defense. And Russell he lays an Wilson, egg. Rob, and I I'm gonna give him before I say he's washed. I want to see him next season. Under a better coach, uh, I, look, he's got a strong work ethic, character, professionalism, competitiveness, pride. I got to believe this is going to be maybe the biggest offseason of his career. You know, I mean, that and I guess the one before his rookie year. But he, I want to see him next year before I say he's watched because, Rob, he's about to turn 34 next week. I, you see this type of drop off in an older guy, right? Immediately, Peyton Manning comes to mind. But for him to be, I mean, thirty three is not old. For him to fall off completely this quickly is uh, that would be stunning. And so I want to see what he does next year before I say he's washed. But I, I'll say this, Rob, because we've all, you know. When we've described Russell Wilson, I mean, we're talking about the trade and before the trade, after the trade, future Hall of Famer, right? That's in. If this is who he is going forward, I think that's in jeopardy. I really uh, do. I don't know. I think he'll probably still make it because of the Super Bowl and that team, Chris. I do. He went but to I, back to back. Don't you think? Just uh, I mean, no, look, I, 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 I don't mean, want to downplay winning a Super Bowl. But no, you know no, what I'm no, saying I'm just, like. Yeah, I, I'm just saying that I pr- he probably is cemented in there because of that team and the run that they made. Do you know what I mean? Like that, that they were pretty good, even though they only won the one. But I know what you're saying. Like, like it, w- it was like the ridiculousness of Matthew Stafford's going to the Hall of Fame after they, the Rams won. Like, like that, that was over the It's top. almost in you reverse, know? right? Like, Stafford's first 10 years or so, you know. Not impressive, you know, individually numbers, right. but not winning. And then he has a Super Bowl win. And now you got Wilson, very impressive first 10, 11 years. And now, and now this, or 10 yeah. years, I think, eight, eight times in the playoffs. I'm telling you, it's been, it's been ugly this year, and it, it is really shocking. Has. Yeah, shocking. I mean, they cannot score. It's just, they, they, even when they move the ball, they just can't put it in the end zone. Right. It, 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 it is, it's hard to watch, to be honest. It really is. And so, but I, look, I'm with you. Get rid of him. Because because here's the thing. You already should be looking at new coaches, Rob. And rather than go behind a guy's back and, you know, maybe a coach even that you're interested in even says, look, right now that's Nathaniel Hackett's job. But I don't want to talk to you until mm-hmm. he's, you know what right. I mean? Like, so just get rid of him now. And then, and then you, you don't have to worry money about money that. And Sean right. Payton or – because some coaches will be like that, Rob. I'm not going to rip and, the and ones let me say who would this. listen, but you know, a lot of coaches of integrity will be like, "Nah, until you know, until it's not you're done with him, like, right? Then right. you can have a conversation." Right. But here's the other thing, too, Chris, with their defense playing that well, the fix ain't that big. Like you know, like no, the question really, Rob, is right. Is, the fix is isn't that big, but but I'm saying with the new coach, right. it ain't like you got to revamp the defense because you can't stop anybody. No. We just need to be able to, to generate 10 more points or yep. another touchdown. It ain't that big, and those turn into wins. Like, you're not no, that you're far right. away. I agree. And and the thing is, Russell Wilson is there. Rob G brought up why he's not getting criticized. 
He's getting criticized nationally, but I also his wife think, Rob, is pretty. Well, <laughs> but you also understand he ain't going nowhere. Like they're they're stuck with Russell Wilson. They're married to him, no doubt. Whether that's good or bad, you know what I mean. Like his contract. You think Aaron Rodgers' contract is prohibitive? No, not even close to this. So he's going to be there. You have to find the coach that can pull it out of him. If you're Sean Payton, who who obviously will be a name at the top of the list, and and I don't know what will happen with the Chargers, but if if the Chargers and the Broncos are open, what do you what are you more interested in? I would be more interested in the younger quarterback, to be honest. Yeah, I agree. I'm just I, and I, I know agree. I know because I don't Herbert. know about Russ. Yeah, and I, Herbert's I, Herbert's legitimately good. He's good, even though they're not winning, and there's some right. other stuff, Chris. But you see the talent there. Whereas the, you could say to yourself, "I could coach this kid up and make him even better." Whereas Russ, I just don't know. And if you remember, Chris, when we were talking about him going to Denver, remember, I think I didn't pick them to make the playoffs. Am I right? Uh, I don't remember. Rob I know G, I did. I, I don't remember if you did. I, I don't or not. think I picked them to make the playoffs because all the talk was about them. But anyway, my point on this is that um, remember we had a couple guests on from Seattle who were like, "We've been watching him." Like, yes, right? They you remember say he's they were not like the same. Right? Run they were much. saying that. You remember that? And we were like, yep. "What? Yep. Yeah, yep. no." They're like, yep. "We've been yep. watching him for the last couple of years. He ain't yep. the same guy." Yeah, um, so it's going to be interesting. But bottom line is I think we both agree, Nathaniel Hackett, it, it's time. Like you said, you're not keeping him past this season. You might as well get rid of him now, all right, and uh, start looking for your next guy.